Field Predator. That's top line is all the ice. Nathan McKenna with the opening draw. Against Grant, learn of the abs, what it off to McCall, and he'll find. Corner, there is Yossi to scamper it up the boards. Abs cut it away from Forsberg, and now Miko diving to the front, and he shoots off the crossbar. The puck will bounce to the near side, and a big hit by McKinnon. There's a broken stick on the ice as the puck is booted for Forsberg. So many ah, things to talk about, Mo. One of the big keys for the abs. Gabe Landis struggle on the ice for his first ship. He told me in the pregame show, Pete, that... He was dying to get on the ice. Quick shot there, saved by Riddick. And he'll gobble up the rebound as Josh Manson. And then you get a power play goal, or a play like that. You get a power play goal. It just it takes away all the momentum of the hit. Right over the near corner. Landeskog throwing his body around the mix. Comes up to Kedrick. Set up top for McCall. He goes to McKinnon. He scores! Nathan McKinnon! It's a power play goal. 12 seconds in. Taking a one nothing lead in the postseason has just added another. No, it's impossible to actually say that you see something different from a guy like Nathan McKinnon. But just in the games, in practice, you watch them. And as they got closer and closer to the playoffs, everything just got a little bit more excited with the way that he handled things. The ball takes. Rantley with one assist. Kale McCarr gets the other. Sent ahead for Miko. Slid off for Taves. Guarding through the circle. Shot. Score! The ball Taves activates. He gets the little feed. He races past the dot. And he rips it past the right pad of Riddick. And the Avs are throwing it all on net early. They've got a 2 nothing lead. As Taves says early on. Mars right now for Nashville. This couldn't be a worse situation. They've got a goaltender who has one playoff game, Riddick. And the Avs come up with two goals, including a power play goal. Absolutely no fear from Arturi Luckin, and he showed that from the time he got here. 20 seconds to go. Turnover! Backhanded one to save. Score! Top of the crease got denied and would not be a second time. Cogliano, the Avs have a 3 0 lead. And for Andrew Cogliano, does this feel good? He has played so hard, so well, so hard. Motion, and he gets his first goal with the Colorado Avalanche. So the Avs have a power play goal, an even strength goal, and now a shorthanded goal in the first eight and a half minutes of this hockey game. Why the captain down the boards? Throw a man down with his left arm. Oh my goodness. Gabe Landeskog on a reverse hit just buried Carrier. McCarr got free from Janot. He'll scamper in. Here's McCarr. He's got. He scores. You've got to be kidding me. Kale McCarr freed himself at the point. Carrier right there. And here he comes. Mosh, the defenseman lost his stick. And that took away from the play. But that was just a phenomenal shot off the mask and in behind. Crowd here at Ball Arena, Pete, is beyond energy. I get by Manson. Doesn't try to throw it in front. Shot saved by Darcy Kemper. McCarron was left all by himself. And for Darcy Kemper. This is one of those saves right here that stops any kind of momentum that Nashville could have built. If they scored a goal here, they're getting, okay, let's get one more before the period ends. All that talk. Now, you see that Kempfer's ready. You may not get a lot of shots on goal against him, but whatever you get, he's going to be there. It's not often that Michael McCarron will find himself on a... Predators trying to get the cycle going with a heavy line inside the Avalanche. Own flip to the near side. Manson settles things down and finds the grass. The fact that the Avs pulled a couple of wins out here. Good luck in it with the shot. He scores! Arturi Lackanen! have come out like an out-of-control freight train, and they won't be stopped. This is amazing. Cadbury's going to get an assist, little play. Now, Lekin is, Le Lekin is coming from his right wing side. He's normally a left wing. Coming from right comes across, and he's all by himself. Mark Moj, I think the goal's backup goalie tonight is... Against the Chicago Blackhawks earlier this season... Just an amazing talent is Kale McCarr, and we're only getting started. Puck is down. Predators have it to Fabro. 
on his shield. Off it comes for Olivier. Iron will pursue him through the corner. Sent off for the big fellow Matera. Wrap around try. Saved by Kemper. He'll gobble up that loose puck in the blue paint. Weeps it off for Taves. Nachushkin is on the ice. He's got the puck. Here's Big Bell with fresh legs. A turnaround opportunity. Saved by Ingram. And he's going to hold on to the right side of his crease. The young goalie. Trial by fire. Granted it. Tried to go out in front. Knocked away by the Preds. On out. Here's McCarr. Back to McKinnon it goes. He'll settle things down to Rantanen. Back to McKinnon. No one-timer there. Now a wrist shot. Knocked down in front. Saved by Ingram. Rebound. Off the post. Score! Borbieski kicking into his own net. It's a power play goal. Five on three style. And the captain gave Landeskog in his first game back from injury. About every little thing that can happen. And Gabe Landeskog is going to get this one being where he always is, Mosh. But what I loved about this five-on-three, they didn't pass, 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 pass in the perimeter. Make those little passes that look good, but don't do anything. They were putting the puck on net every opportunity they had. Well, the young netminder has played pretty well for the Predators in relief. Well, the Avs finally made it. Well, far circle, Sturm is out there. Preds win it to the point, Yossi. Goes down the slot, slap shot, save by Kemper, rebound, turn around shot, score, Matt Duchesne, it's a power play goal. And the Nashville Predators break through, it's now a 6-1 game with 1 minute and 20 seconds to go in period number 2. On the left side of the screen, fascinating. Now number 1, Sturm got his stick knocked out of his hand, so he didn't have a chance to play that. You see him just getting his stick, picking it up. But number 2 for Matt Duchesne... For all those years in Colorado, he's a center iceman. There's Burakovsky looking for a shooting lane. Turns and fires. Saved by Ingram. It went off a body and then got him. The Chuskin marching away from Cunning. Up to the point again. The Avs keep it in. McKinnon's on the ice with a one-timer. Score! Nathan McKinnon from just inside the blue line. His second goal of the night. And the Avs have taken a 7-1 to one lead. That was a rocket. Moj, I will say it again. We have, you and I have talked about it. He is reinventing offensive hockey in that offensive zone by staying up so hot. Tied up with each other as bodies crash in along the inboards. Like it was a part of that. And here is Graham. Wraps it up by Stu Shane's got a breakaway. In shoots and scores. Matt Duchesne, his second goal of the game, has now made it 7-2. to two. Well, Moj, when you watch this, he just waits, but gets his spot and puts a top shelf just over the blocker. I mean, that is really a nice goal. That's 45 goals he's got this year, Moj. And I'm telling you, he had 19 in the previous 100 games for Nashville. Gives it up now to Raylan, watering his way. Down the boards, center pass to Shane to Benning, wrist shot off the post far side. Is the subject of a lot of boos for the fans, so it seems like anybody that's boos, boo booing. Montreal or elsewhere. I boo at my home arena. <laughs> I was going to say, Boston fans were relentless. McKinnon to the Chuskin to Miko, and a save by Ingram. Is a big body at 6'6 and 235 pounds. Carrier into the corner of the defenseman. Finds Olivier to wrap around dry. Stop by Kipper, not once but twice. Three to go and two to go. The Predators will eat the puck, and that will do it for game one. The Colorado Avalanche.